Everything runs through Seven tortillas. Everything runs through Seven tortillas. That gets me hyped every time I hear it. I can't believe he gave us a shout out so early in our in our uh, career as Tech and Tortilla people. You know, it's pretty amazing. I'd say so. I, I can't believe that. How's it going, everyone? I'm your host, as always, when I'm actually here. Nick, how are you? And I got with me Troy and Dylan, fellas. Good to be back. Yeah, I like how you mentioned when you're here. So we missed you. We try to do uh, without you every now and then, but it's good to have you back. Yeah, you guys, you know, here's what I'll tell you. You guys do a great job offering, a, you know, not professional, professional takes. I think you guys do a great job with your study. But when I'm not on the show, there's just something missing. You know what I mean? A little bit of wild card, a little bit of, little bit of mustachery. You know what I mean? I saw Dylan put on the mustache while I was gone. I appreciated that. Um, Honestly, we've had the most mustaches on the show in your absence. <laughs> well, that's because you guys, you guys, real recognize is real. You know, yeah. as the kids say, Three mustaches on the last episode. Yeah, you guys. No, you guys were preparing the fans that we have for uh, my mustache because. As you can see, this thing is powerful. That's right. So, <clears throat> all right. So we're going to get started here today, guys. We got some great picks. We got a very, very special, not a celebrity guest picker. Um, he has selective amnesia. Uh, he did not remember a story that all of us vividly remember. I uh, don't know how that happened, but we'll, we'll catch up to that a little bit. Um, some great picks. Great week for... Uh, the boys in uh, Scarlet and Black, um, big game this weekend, uh, potential loser, no Big 12 championship game implications. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Feel free, guys, before we get started, uh, when we go through our picks, please comment uh, what you think the picks should be, what your pick would be, or if you disagree with our picks in general, we'd love to hear from you and love to love to have a little back and forth, if you will. So. Don't forget to comment and let us know what you're thinking of the picks. Troy, you want to show us how last week went? Yes, sir. Here we go. All, All right. right. Oh, Troy, sorry. Lead us off. Oh, you're good. All right. So we got Dylan at 11 and 5 last week. Another <laughs> strong week for old Dylan. He, uh, what, 11 and 3 the week before, 11 and 5. Dylan's just throwing him up and throwing him down and getting him right. Uh, so Dylan's moved to right around about 54%. Uh, Nick, another average week. Uh, I actually think you were not 3 and 3, but I may have messed that up. Uh, but you're 38 and 45 on the year. Um, myself. Last week, last week pissed me off, man, because in the morning games, I was like, I thought I was like 3 or 4 and 0. Uh, and then I lost, and then I lost every other game. Yeah, that's always a rough, especially when you get started. Dill, what are your thoughts on your picks? Uh, Arkansas didn't show up at all. Um, Clemson also didn't show up. And I'm still a little mad, disappointed in you that, I mean, <coughs> South Carolina A&M definitely should have been on the list. I mean, South Carolina was the easiest pick of the day. And we had a service academy game that I, I still gave the listeners the winner on that, but I mean, those are two games that just have to make the list. Yeah, that's a good point. That's that's my bad. I was a little scarred last week from the A and M game. I caught a lot of slack in uh, my little flack. group chat. With my friends, slack, slack, not slack. If oh, they were giving God. you slack, Troy, Troy, if they were giving you slack, then they would be a, uh, they would be helping you out. Yeah, that's a good call. And then I went eight and three. Uh, bounced back after one of my worst weeks of my career, three and eleven the week before. So great bounce back week, put me yeah. back at fifty six percent and in first place. Uh, and Colin, our not a celebrity guest picker, went one and five. So uh, one of the worst performances yeah. of the year. Uh, one, so of the worst. <laughs> one of the worst. All right, <laughs> hey Troy, I need to get my new mic from you. Yeah, I got that for you, and uh, I'll get it to you. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, I, I hear show. the feedback is that my 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 sound settings don't sound great. So we need to get that mic. No, oh, you got it, Chief. Call me Cheese or Chief. <laughs> I like I don't I like Cheese, but it was Chief. Either way. All right. So let's get started here, Dylan. and I uh, can I give you some feedback? 
Go on. I I know the glasses have been a good fit, and I and I do enjoy a good fit. Can I give you my my feedback now? When we're playing Colorado, those seem very Dion. That's fine. Okay, as long as we're on the same page. All right. So first game, um, you'll figure out why we're picking this game later. So we've got Texas State versus ULM. ULM is plus seven over 49 and a half. Um, give me the overall day, 49 and a half. I like it. Uh, I think it's going to hit. I will tell you I need to catch up to the boys or else I'm at risk of not uh, not winning this thing this year. So also give me – Troy, what are you picking? Are you, are you having them cover? Are you having them uh, – Yeah, I'm, uh, having Texas them, State. I'm having Texas State cover. Give me ULM plus seven as well. We're reaching. We're reaching. All right, Dylan, talk to us. This ULM team has been one of the funner stories of the year. They were supposed to be one of the worst teams, and they're sitting five and three right now, uh, looking like a contender in that conference. But Texas State, again, is a team that I have futures on, hopefully to win this conference, which looks pretty dead. But if they're going to do that, they're going to have to run the table. Uh, Texas State's a better team. They should show out. I'll go Texas State minus seven, and I'll take Texas State team total over 27 and a half. Troy? Awesome. Well, I already gave you my pick, but I wanted to say Jordan McLeod's absolute electric factory. I've said it all year on most of our pad podcasts. He's one of my favorite players uh, in all college football. He's got a QB, QB rating of 155.7 with 20 touchdowns. The kid's dynamic. He's an absolute, absolute electric factory. I like them to win by more than a touchdown. Uh, and so for that reason, I'm taking them plus or minus seven. Uh, and I, I hear somebody might be taking them the alternate line of this game. So that's what I got. Folks, oh, folks, folks, let me let me remind you, Troy is the person that said Noah Fafita is a good quarterback. Last year. Last so, year he was a good quarterback. There's been, there's been no mention of that this year. Well, there, at the beginning of the year there was. You were very excited about Arizona's offense. Yeah, no, they were, they're fraudulent. <laughs> so I just don't know about your quarterback guru status yet it's in question so we'll see this weekend next game number two georgia versus number 17 old miss uh georgia's favored by two and a half over under 54 and a half troy lead us off yeah and this one i don't think old miss is be able to duplicate performance or uh, duplicate performances of last week uh they played really well and had an offensive explosion that i don't know if anybody was expecting uh really gave dylan and i a couple of losses on the board last week <laughs> Uh, I picked I the over, you, didn't I? You might have. Yeah, I did. I think you, did. you said you started good. Started well early. Well, in this one, I'm not taking the over. I think both of these teams have, you know, two of the best defensive lines in the country. Uh, I think Ole Miss is a little banged up in some of their stud positions. I don't think they're starting running backs playing, and their best receivers a little banged up as well. Uh, and so, for that reason, I'm just going to rock with the under on this one at 54 and a half. Dylan? Well, if Georgia's as good as we think they are, they have to win this game. I do love Lane Kiffin. I love being on the lane train, but Georgia's is too good. I think they're still probably one of the best teams in the country, maybe the best team in the country, and they're going to show that in this game. So two and a half, all they need to win is by a field goal. I'll take Georgia minus two and a half. Yeah, so definitely give me Georgia minus two and a half. I agree. Um, they obviously need to win, and I do think that they're starting to come into their own. They're going to be fine. Uh, less than a field goal, give me it. Um, and then give me the over 54 and a half also. I do think Ole Miss can score. Um, QB whisper, Jackson Dart. Is that the young man's name? I like that. Good. That's a fast name, you know? Fast name, fast points. I like it. Um, and I do I do also – I like uh, the lane train as well, Dylan. I, I'm going to take that from you because I enjoyed that. Uh, he can score – the kid kid can score some points. So go ahead and give me the over 54 and a half because Georgia's going to have to score more, obviously, to win. So I think they will. But, George, but Ole Miss ain't going to put up nothing. So give me both. 
Talking about QB whisperer, uh, Carson Beck has not looked great this year. So big game for him. We'll see if he can uh, turn some of that narrative around. Next game up, we got Michigan versus number eight. My favorite team, Indiana. Number eight, Indiana. I love these guys. Uh, Indiana is favored by 14, over, under 40 and a half. What a fall from grace, huh? Yeah, you could say that for sure. That, this is, this, is, this just like if three years ago, if you saw this, what would you say? Someone's Jim playing Harbaugh. a fib. Somebody's still in signs. <laughs> is this April 1st? Because this is a this is a fool. Yeah. Dylan, fair what do you think? Yeah, that's, that's funny you said that. I thought he said Dylan, but all right. <laughs> no, go ahead, Dylan. I'm sorry, Troy. I thought Dylan had the floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's funny you said that because I was listening to something earlier, and basically it may it may have been Fornelli. I can't remember who, but they said if you would have saw Indiana plus fourteen in this game, Minus. then you would have thought no, 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 no. Let, let oh. me finish the sentence. If you would have saw sorry. Indiana plus fourteen, you know what, Dylan, uh, you are muted. So I go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have thought Indiana plus 14 at this time of year against Michigan, you would have said, damn, Indiana is having a great year. And let alone they're sitting here minus 14 against Michigan. So this is not what anyone expected coming into the season. No, this and, is crazy. This is crazy to me. Oh, yeah. And I'll be 100% honest. I've been I've been betting against them nonstop waiting for it to end. So I don't know. Maybe I might jinx them. Maybe I might be the thing that stops them. But I'm going to finally jump on the train. Uh, Coach Signetti ripping cigs, just getting dubs. That's all he does. Hey, Google Dylan. him. All he does is win. <laughs> Google me. Google I'm going to take me. Indiana minus 14 here. I just I need to get on the train because it's been losing me a lot of games this year. Troy, tell us about your picks. Can you, can you also walk me through how bad Michigan's been this year? I know they haven't been winning, but I haven't been following them. But this is a pretty shocking line to me, so. Explain to me, being a dumb dumb, why Michigan is so bad. Uh, I think you know, like, for starters, they've had three different quarterbacks start this year, and none of them have been prolific in the past. Can I ask game. you something? Can I ask yeah. you something? Mm -hmm. If you have three starters, do you have any starters? Yeah, and unfortunately, one of them had a career ending injury, which he retired from the sport. Uh, and so the old saying, if you have two, then you have none. But uh, he, he opted to retire. I don't know how serious the injury was, but I don't think it was anything he was going to come back from. But that being said, Warren and Orgy, one of them can't throw the ball at all. Uh, and then Warren's starting to figure it out a little bit, but, you know, he's just uh, probably needs a little more time in the system uh, to be great. And, uh, but what about their defense? Yeah, and to answer that question, when they played good teams, they – they really struggled. This was supposed to be a defense that was one of the top in the nation, um, and they just haven't been able to put it together um, against good teams. They beat USC when they were ranked, but USC probably should have never been ranked. Uh, that was probably preseason hype. Uh, that kept them in the polls, so that wasn't a really a good team that they they beat. Uh, and then Illinois, they lost twenty one to seven. Oregon thirty eight to seventeen, and Texas uh, thirty one to twelve. And so, really, it's. Um, when they get in front of a good offense, it's not easy to stop them, or they're not stopping much of anything. Uh, so I think it's a, it's just turnover, new coach. Uh, they got to figure it out. But in this one, I am oddly enough going to take Michigan minus fourteen. That's a lot of points. Uh, Dylan mentioned that Indiana uh, has proved him wrong multiple times. I'm hoping they can prove me right on this instance. But just in case they don't, I am going to take the over in this one at forty eight and a half. Because I think if they um, do cover, they're going to score a whole bunch of points, and I think Michigan will be able to get two touchdowns. So I'll take the over 48 and a half and Michigan minus 14. Yeah, so the only reason why I'm even thinking about maybe taking Michigan is because they still have all the talent in the world, right? Like, they, they, they have good players. Something's just not clicking. And on any given Saturday, it could click for them. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, I get nervous with picking Indiana minus 14. 
because that's the opposite flip side of the coin, right? Uh, I mean, they, they, you know, they've shown us that they get, they're going to keep winning. Their offense is great, but at some point, you got to think they're going to they're going to lose a game, right? Or they're going to have a a misstep. So, you know, is this it? I this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Um, I am going to take the over forty eight and a half. I am going to take the over forty eight and a half. I'm going to stay away from. I'm going to stay away from picking either team on this one. I'm just going to cheer for points and cheer for a fun game. My favorite team, Indiana. Second favorite team, Indiana. Google me. <laughs> Next game, number nineteen, Clemson versus Virginia Tech. Hokies plus six and a half. Over under fifty three and a half. Troy, what do you got? Yeah, this is really interesting. Uh, Clemson was really starting to turn their season around, and then they played Louisville uh, and lost that one by over 10 points. Uh, when you look at their wins, they're not that impressive. Uh, they may have a couple of teams that they've beat that will potentially be bowl eligible, uh, but none that have made it to six wins quite yet. Uh, and so, you know, we gave them a lot of uh, slack <laughs> they lost to Georgia. Uh, we were giving them, you know, credit for uh, that's not an easy team to play when you first start. And then they rattled off, what is it, six wins? Uh, and we said, hey, Clemson needed to dust off the cobwebs. Well, now they're going to Virginia Tech, enter Sandman. Not an easy game, not an easy place to play. Uh, they are lucky it's not a night game, I will say that. Sorry, but did you say Adam Sandler's going to be there? <laughs> He probably will be. If that happens, I'm taking the money line. Uh, but in this instance, I'm just going to take um, Virginia Tech plus six and a half. Yeah, Virginia Tech was a couple people's dark horse to win the ACC at the beginning of the year. Uh, so they're not a bad team. Um, like you said, enter Sandman, baby. You know, uh, Give me... Give me the over. Over 53 and a half. Michael Vick ain't walking through those doors. Well, that would probably help the over. <laughs> I know, but something can still get done. Did he go there too? Or was it just uh, Marcus? No, it was both of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dylan? All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, based on the fact that both Vicks went there, I'm taking the over. There's no method to my madness in this one. Give me the over. We're cheering for points. We ain't cheering for unders here. Dylan, talk to me. Yeah, uh, like Nick said, there was a lot of expectations. So, game. Yeah, it no, to Why the did point, we yeah. pick this game? Why did we pick this game to pick? This was supposed to be a big game, like you said. Like Virginia Tech was supposed to be good, and they're just not. It's a it's a disappointing game. It was supposed to be a big game. And yeah, but Dylan, can I tell you something? It's what? not like it's not like we we lay out the podcast to where we pick all the games at the beginning of the year and we're that organized. We literally picked these games this morning. So oh, I don't I understand. That. I don't understand why we picked this. Troy, what are we doing here? Yeah, it's a it's a yucky game. And you want to talk about games that we should be picking. Let's take a shot real quick. Notre Dame versus FSU. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah. Is this is this um is this Derek's fault? No, this is on me. Well no, I sent this I sent these uh games earlier in the week and nobody objected, so well Troy, we need you to be better. <laughs> I threw out seven it's, games. It's not hard know. to pick better games. And one of them was Texas State, one of them happened to be this game. <laughs> yeah, what is your problem this week? <laughs> Look, man, if you got a problem with me coming back on the show, you let me know. But I feel like this is targeted. Just absolute stinkers of games, not one ranks game. Yeah, yeah, great. Might as well snooze best. Dude, the people don't care. Hey, hey, everyone, if you care about this game, comment in the box. No one's going to comment. Here's the comment. Stinky game. Stinky, stinky. Hey, comment right, stinky Dylan. if you think this is stinky. Yeah, comment stinky if you think Troy doesn't know how to pick games. <laughs> Hey, All right, Dylan, go ahead. Yeah, Clemson's coming off. Uh, you know, sorry, one more thing. One more thing. You did the only the only thing that can make this worse if this was like an 11 p.m. kickoff. That would make it better. No, I'd make it a lot better. We yeah. need more late games. Enter Sandman. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, and they're Sandman because everyone's asleep. <laughs> yeah, the boogeyman. Yeah, the boogeyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the Sandman yeah. puts you to sleep. <laughs> All right, Dylan. Dylan, sorry. We digress. Back to your regular scheduled program. <laughs> uh, Clemson's coming off a bad performance against Louisville. They should bounce Let's back. I think, I think Virginia Tech's going to struggle with uh, the whole stadium's going to be um, a little distracted with Adam Sandler being there. So I'm going to go ahead and take Clemson minus six and a half. I'll take the over 53 and a half, and I'll take Clemson team total over 29 and a half. All right. Everyone so retweet, retweet and, and, and repost this so that way Adam Sandler sees it and he's like, wait, did my admin put this on the schedule? <laughs> Do I have somewhere to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I supposed to be at the Virginia Tech game? <laughs> All right, next game. This Detroit, this makes a little more sense to pick. You see those numbers in front of the team names? Clemson's ranked. You see, you see how they're close together? You see how both teams have numbers in front of them and they're close together? Nick, you know how many ranked versus ranked matchups there are this week? Then pick unranked versus unranked, Troy. Pick excitement. <laughs> All right, number 11. Sorry, I'm sick from all these stupid games. Number number 11, Alabama versus number 14, LSU. LSU, LSU plus three over under 58 and a half. Um, this this is a, this this has me perplexed in a in a good way. <laughs> That's a lot of points. I feel like for these guys, I know I know sometimes they score a lot, but like LSU. LSU this year has let me down twice when I picked them for the over. <coughs> Give me – let's take the under. I don't trust that LSU can score uh, score enough to get that number to over 58 and a half. Yeah. Give me the under. Troy, what are your thoughts? Uh, I think that's an odd place to take an under. I think that LSU is not going to run the ball at all. And uh, Alabama is very susceptible to the pass game. Uh, they've shown that they're not great. In, uh, yeah, you're a nerd. nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I got in this one is I hope for absolute chaos in the SEC. I hope that everybody loses and they all end up like nine and three. Uh, and so if for that to happen, I need LSU to win this game. Uh, so I'm actually going to take LSU plus three. Uh, and I'm also going to take the first half over for LSU, 13 and a half. Uh, to the point I had, I don't think they're going to be running the ball much. It's at their home field. So I think that they'll be able to have, they'll have the crowd on their side. And I think they're going to be able to draw up a few plays in the first 15 to really uh, get the scores on the board. And so I'm hoping they can get two before that happens. Two touchdowns, that is. <clears throat> yeah, scrub. Uh, Dylan. Yeah, big home game in Death Valley. Brian Kelly, guys, 2011 and 1, 64 and a half percent with extra time to prepare for a game. Also, oh. 28, 13 and 1 against the spread, 68.3 percent as a dog of a field goal or more. Brian Kelly does good in these spots. Give me LSU plus three, LSU money line, and LSU team total over 27 and a half. You think that you think that twenty and eleven is good coming off of a bye week? Uh, yes, it's sixty four and a half percent. You win sixty four and a half percent of the time. You're winning a lot of money. Can I ask you who's like the best at coming off a of bye week and what their win percentage is? Hello. Is it Bill Belichick? Do you have that number off the top of your head, Nick? No, I just, I just when people throw out statistics like that. I would just like to have a reference point. Uh, well, 64% is probably pretty damn good. The reference point is 64.5% makes you a lot of money. I know, <laughs> wins. I know, I know, but I'm just wondering if like that's like a good – I would think that like a really good coach would be able to come off a bye week and win the majority of the time. Like, But this when I say majority, I mean vast majority. Vast this is majority. majority. That's covering this the number. Spread. That's covering the number. <laughs> So his winning percentage is probably much higher than 64%. That's covering a number. 75%. 64.5% is amazing covering a number. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I thought you meant winning the game. We play to win the game. My apologies. Good teams win, great hey, teams cover. I, do, I already said I'm sorry. I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I misunderstood. It's your glasses. They're distracting. Oh, God. All right. Is, is the next game the game? No, not yet. We got one more. The big now, one. this is an interesting game, Troy. You know why? It's the whole name war. the game. Name the game. The Holy War. The Holy War. Holy cow. We've got number nine BYU versus Utah. Remember Utah at the beginning of the season? Everyone thought they were the number one team in the Big 12. Well, at least uh, they thought that. Here we are. Look at that, man. Who would have thunk it? Utah is plus four and a half over under over under 40. Oh, man, Dylan, what do you think? Yeah, it's been a rough year for Utah, and it's been a very surprising year for BYU. Total opposite fates from what we all thought at the beginning of the year. But, again, a little fun opposite, statistic. Opposite fates, but not opposite fates. <laughs> Maybe. Whatever. I don't know. Mormons. Colonel yeah. Whittingham, 27-16 and 16 against the spread. That's 62.8% as an underdog of four points or more. Utah. <laughs> Getting four and a half in the Holy War. I'll take Utah plus four and a half. I'll take Utah to win the game. Utah wins this one. Troy, what do you think? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, Dill, if you want the Big 12 to have a team in the playoff, if you want them to have two teams in the playoff, we need an undefeated BYU to get to the playoff and then Texas Tech to beat them uh, in the championship game. You know that. We know that. And for you to come out here and pick Utah, yeah, I get it. It's a good pick. Uh, this game's supposed to mean a lot. Uh, it makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, and usually you're a guy that makes the picks based off of what needs to happen for uh, Tech to be successful. Uh, uh, for Tech to be successful, they won the Big 12 and they're in. Yep. Yeah. Troy, can I tell you something? This game, this game, Troy, to Dylan's point, this game really, really, this game doesn't have any bearing on tech only if now it could if byu decides to, to grab the bed and lose three games then there's a real easy path but here's the other thing Troy. if you want to test that theory you should have put iowa state kansas in here because i would have chose kansas to win <laughs> yep okay that's not too <laughs> far though uh in this one i'm just gonna take the over to the game even close to where byu uh, the total in that the games have not even been close to 40. I get Utah's supposed to have a good defense. Uh, that's just such a low total that I'm going to flirt with it, and I'm going to take it, uh, you know, 10 times over. Yeah, I'm with Troy. That number is, to me, is silly. Um, obviously, Dylan, rat line, maybe. Big time. Well, uh, this, this makes me wonder what Vegas knows. Um, but I, but I, I, hey. Give me the cheese, baby. Where's the cheese, Danny? <laughs> I'm taking it. Over 40. Give me it. Let's <laughs> let's dance. Let's do it. All right. So we have a very, very, very special guest who is not a celebrity, but he is our guest picker. He's our friend, Brett Powers. Where is it? There he is. <laughs> Brett, hello. Gentlemen. Hello. How are you? Doing great. Great to be on the show, fellas. I appreciate Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Wonderful. We're glad to have you, Brett. Um, very glad to have you. So first question right off the bat. Um, you ever seen the show before? Have I seen the show? Good. <laughs> Love to hear it. Of course I've seen the show. Love to in, hear it. Then fact, you know how fact, this goes. Can I just polish up my favorite part of the show thus far? Please. Dylan had a little red hot chili peppers line maybe two or three weeks ago. And so honestly, I feel Dylan might be outshining y'all a little bit. If anyone wanted to get were to get the Fox deal, it's coming. Is that when we started <laughs> singing? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was you pretty did, good. You did something and then but Dylan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dylan does some good things for us here on Tech and Tortillas. We appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Uh let's not forget how many uh um, scorpion peppers I ate, though. <laughs> Let's not forget. So, yeah, you know, just saying. Although Dylan did wear clown makeup. So Dylan's got bits, man. 
He's got um, all the bits. Yeah. It's strong. Yeah, we we've got some bits, man. We did some we did some big bits last year. You know, I lit something on fire. <laughs> I missed that one. I don't think the algorithm <laughs> got that one. Yeah, well, that's that's a damn shame. But yeah. I lit something on fire. So uh so let's get to it then. You know the show, so you know the gig. Uh first question right off the bat. How does it feel to um you know, be able to walk down the street and have no one recognize you and no one, <laughs> no one care who you are. It, I mean, it's great, Nick. It's, um, it's great to just be able to go to the grocery store in peace. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know people like Dylan, they can't even go enjoy a night out with their friends. You know? No, no, so, not, not with the, not with the success that we've enjoyed. I, I, yeah, I won't get carried away, but it's, it's quite pleasant. Nick. Yeah. Good, man. Good. That's good to yeah. hear. We always like to make sure our not, not a celebrity, you know, it's a choice, yeah. right? Cause you could, you could be a celebrity if you wanted to be, right. um, but you right. chose that other life. And I want to make sure that, you know, the uh, viewers know how it is. So that's yeah. good. And we appreciate that. Um, so, you know, we're going to ask you a few questions here and uh, just to get to know you a little bit, have the crowd get to know you. Um, so right off the top, uh, you know, again, Brett, Nick Dementia, uh, Tech and Tortillas, glad to have you here. First question that I have for you is, how bad is your memory that you don't remember in high school me hitting you with a baby gate? Well, Nick, uh, what? Does I this, thought you were, I'm this, shocked. After, after our, our conversation pre-show, does this mean, what was your question originally for the baby game? Was it going to be how, how bad did it hurt? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know if I was going to, I don't know what I was going to ask. There's something along those lines. Yeah. It's something baby gate related, but I'm glad we did the pre-questions. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. How do you not uh, remember that? You, you said apparently I had been drinking. We had all been drinking. There's a baby. Oh, down. I don't drink. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That's right. That's what, right. What are you talking about? Well, well yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's yeah. just me. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. yeah. And frankly, you were trash. I couldn't believe it. Uh, yeah. Frankly, I think <laughs> yeah. if you had hit me hard enough with the baby gate, I would remember. So I think it was just really a soft hit at the end of the day. Well, because I care about you. I appreciate that. Yeah. That and, if I hit you too, hit. and if I hit you too hard, you wouldn't remember because of the impact. Yeah. yeah, Lord knows. Yeah. yeah, so you just gotta be careful. Troy, go ahead. Hey, Brett. Troy Dementia, uh, Tech and Tortillas. I'm glad that you're here. Appreciate your time, Brett. What questions do I have for you? So, what is <laughs> wow, it unprepared. Like, you know, unprepared. On the spot. Well, I got, unprepared. I got yeah. yeah. I, got, I got two. What is it like to have to go against Mahomes and Maato? Knowing that they're on the opposite opposite uh, team, how do you deal with that in your day to day? <laughs> are you are you referencing uh, the company I work for? Are you an insurance guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm in uh, I'm in Arkansas right now for tornadoes. You know, it, those there's gr good uh, stand up guys. I mean, how could you hate them? They're Perfect role models. I like you what know? you're doing. Pan pandering yeah. to the people. Smart. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're magnificent. There's a reason Patrick Mahomes is the future greatest of all time. Uh, you know, Travis Kelsey, Maado, he, he's dating Taylor Swift. How cool is that? I mean, yeah. guys, that was just, I mean, that's just neat, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> Fun fact. Yeah. yeah. And Brett, second part, I would argue Nick said, uh, what's it like to, uh, not be famous. I'd argue you're one of the most famous people I know. What's it like to be have such a powerful in, uh, influence on the old YouTube? Troy, can I tell you something real quick? What is the name of this segment? Not a celebrity <laughs> guest pick. So is if he's a celebrity, <laughs> then do we need to then do we need to stop this interview? Yeah. Because here's what I'm afraid of, Troy. That ain't fair. That ain't fair. To the rest of the not a celebrities. <laughs> so, a don't do, so Troy, let me tell you something. Do not put our, put, put our, what's the word I'm looking for? Good name in Dragon, okay? Yeah. 
for men of honor. So, Brett, answer the question, but just remember, please answer it in a way that makes it seem like you're an everyman. Sure, sure. Every man. You, you we're, know, not, we're not elitists, Troy. <laughs> you know, Troy, I really I took the easy road. I picked some small niche sport. Who, who cares about motocross? Nobody. How well, hard how many is people it to, follow you? How hard is it to get subscribers in motocross? Do you know how many people make motocross content? I could count it on one one hand. Are you the only one? <laughs> yeah, 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> Dude, I, I might be. You know, how many subscribers? 50,000. If I had it my way, I would I would have picked my passion. I talk about football. I would have grinded it out through good, honest work the hard way. Is this an interview? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I, I, I want to be on the show. I want to grow. <laughs> I'm sick of motocross. Also, Troy, how, how many subscribers do you have? I'll I'll, I'll tell you this because I'm a I'm an any man. Um, I guarantee you, you guys have. You can you can say it, and we'll bleep it out. I, I guarantee you guys get more subscribers than me every month currently. I, I haven't posted anything in four years. <laughs> How many did you finish with? <laughs> uh, uh, several. A thousand? Any man. Ends up? A thousand? Not a celebrity. Okay. <laughs> Might have to bleep this part. All right, Dylan, what's your question? Way to go, Troy. <laughs> All right, Brett. Dylan you here. You got your most um, famous friend? No, he, he's famous. <laughs> but he's famous for being an everyman. There you go. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you for That's getting right. us back. <laughs> All right, Brett. Dylan here. Got a, I guess, a kind of a two-parter. But uh, first, I just want to say it's, it's an honor to have you on as I see you as one of the kings of the bits. And I'm someone who likes to do bits as myself. So... Uh, I look up to you whenever I try to do a bit, so it's uh, greatly appreciated. But um, first part of the question, how much effort goes into creating the best bit? And two, is there a lot of pressure in being one of the funniest people that we know? <laughs> That's very gracious, Dylan. I'll tell you what. Are you guys Are you guys dating each other? Yeah, look. I We're bit guys. <laughs> yeah. We're big yeah, guys. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that what we're calling it? Hey, man, look. Love is love, but I just didn't know. Yeah, man, this show is Nick, great. I need, I need to be on every week. I don't think it's a bitch, <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't understand why he was like just slobbing all over Dylan at the beginning, and then Dylan just gave it right back. He's the king of bitch. <laughs> look, look hey. he's the star of the show. You want a bit? <laughs> I'm a cowboy. Oh, yeah. oh, what's Nick's bit? He has like a mustache or something. Come on, <laughs> that will show them. Yeah, well, no, 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 Brett. My bit, my bit is I have diabetes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who has diabetes and liver disease? It's so crazy. Uh, this guy's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's underrated. Yeah. Dude, Brett, can yeah. I tell you? Can I tell you? Liver disease. I was in the hospital like five times, dude. It was so funny. You should have seen the doctor. He's oh, like, man. again. Oh boy. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sticky bit. I'm glad you're all good, bro. Nope. Yeah, no, no. I'm. It, it was a bit, so you know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you just walked right out. Yeah. All right, see you, yeah. I was like, guys, I'm fine. They're like, no, yeah. you, sir, you're bleeding out of your eyes. <laughs> yeah. But my work, my work here is done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's all this work. <laughs> you know, Dylan, I suppose it, no matter what you put into the bit, look, it, it, of course it takes work. You're going to have these great bits. You're going to wear funny glasses and uh, dress up as a clown. As soon as you put out your, your, your absolute worst content, your worst video that you're least proud of, that's when you hit it big. That's how it always works out. And um, you should look forward to that day. Whenever you're feeling <laughs> especially bad about hitting upload is when it, it skyrockets. Dude, I, was wait, I was waiting for him to say, you know, you're going to have bits sometimes that you're really proud of and no one else is. And that's yeah. okay, too. Yeah. No, that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes like those are your best bits. The red hot chili peppers thing, you know. You probably didn't even know how good that was. <laughs> that wasn't – we were just singing – I don't. Right, I gotta get my phone charged. Thanks. So I get started. All right, Brent, With that, uh, I think we. Hang on, I got one more thing. I got one more thing. 
<laughs> oh God. Is this a big you know what I'm worried about? You know what I'm concerned about? That what? we we are we've become so bit oriented that we don't even realize we're doing a bit. Because the red hot chili peppers thing was just like <laughs> someone said something and then it was like the lyrics to Red Hot Chili Peppers, so then Dylan kept saying it and then we kept singing it. But like that's not a bit. It's unless it is a bit. And now our life is just bits. Yeah, it's a slippery slope. Is that a bad thing though? My life's been bits for the last seven years. I guess, hey guys, I guess you could say we can't stop. Dude, I'm just saying, I'm addicted, I'm addicted to the shindig, man. Uh, it's all right. It's all under the bridge right now, Nick. That's a good one. Snow. Hey, yo. Here we go. All right, baby. let's get started. Let's get Are started. You, you guys all want right. to low down? First, first game, Brett. Tell me, baby, what's your story? You want the lowdown on Texas State? Look, fellas, they came in with all the expectations. We have generational yes, coach GJ <laughs> GJ Kinney. It's hard to say every time. It's very hard to say. Uh, generational coach, and uh, look, this is a this is a damn good football team. And and let it be known, winners of the Serve Pro First Responder Bowl last year against a. A very underrated rice team. All Thank right. you for your service. We know how dangerous rice can be. So Texas State's defense is not very good. Uh, mm. They have a, a defensive end named Ben Bell, and he's he's an all-star. He got injured like week two. And, um, you know, Ben Bell's kind of like T.J. Watt. He really just completely disrupts the game. And so it's kind of like the Steelers. Are you, say, are you saying he's going to be one of the de best defensive linemen ever? Yes. Yes. Everybody knows clarify. this. I, uh, Colin Cowherd's talking about this. Oh, God. <laughs> Why didn't you say that earlier? <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're a lot like uh, – it's like the Steelers defense, but without like Minka Fitzpatrick and Cameron Hayward. It's just pretty much T.J. Watt. And uh, now he's gone, um, and he now he I think he's not injured anymore, and he's he decided to like redshirt. He just completely abandoned the team. So uh, Monroe's gonna Man. put up some points. <laughs> They're gonna put up a so, lot of points. But uh, we got. I, I was my guy Troy's got my back in generational talent, Jordan McLeod. I mean, this guy is a baller, and he's got Joey Her Hobart to throw to. Um, I think they're just going to go – if they don't get five turnovers, which happens like every other week, they're going to go ballistic. Uh, and I might even raise the spread. I don't even know if I'm allowed to do this to like plus 10, plus 13. Alternate line is what we call it. <laughs> give, me a, take, give me a plus – give me a plus nine and a half. No, <laughs> no, you, no, you, no, you probably want minus nine and a half there, bud. Sorry, minus nine and a half. <laughs> I haven't used Bovada in a while. Yeah. Can I tell you – I hope I hope for your sake that his name is Jordan McLeod this Saturday and not Jordan McClown. <laughs> Come on, man. I never even thought of that. <laughs> it, look, no one thought of the name yet because he's just been that good. It hasn't hasn't come up yet. Next game, Troy. I'm a little frustrated <laughs> that when I said, Tell me, baby, what's your story? You didn't realize, you know, that was a red hot chili peppers reference. <laughs> We're always doing a bit. <laughs> Again. I, yeah. 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 And I, can't, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I can't, uh, as Dylan said earlier, can't stop. <laughs> Georgia. All right. Uh, it, Georgia, in, number two, Georgia versus number 17, <laughs> Ole Miss. Ole Miss yeah. plus two and a half, over under 54 and a half. Brett, talk to us. Did, did anybody else look at this and think, am I missing something here? Is, like, somebody injured? Or am I no, I, I, am I not smart? No, I <laughs> no. think Ole Miss's offense is good. Troy doesn't. Yeah. They, yeah. Ja the old – do you think Ole Miss targets people with names like Jackson Dart? It's a sick name. Time? Jackson Ripping Darts. Guy, they, like, check birth records in counties, and they're like, all right. This is ours. Yeah. Yeah, 18, 18 years, years away, baby. 
<laughs> um, so that's cool. They have that going for them, but the spread is just terrible. I mean, the does anybody watch Georgia Longhorns? I guess they can they can be off every now and then, but oh man, I I think it's Georgia easily. I'll take the spread. All right, there you go. If you think that's stinky, guess what we got for you, Troy? Show them. Michigan versus eight Indiana. <laughs> Indiana's favored minus fourteen, yeah. over under forty eight and a half. Oh man, I want to. I really want to join in on the fun with Indiana because they're Dude, fun. Dude, it is fun. The they're water's fun. fine. Yeah, but I mean, y you guys are betters. You guys <clears throat> put your money where your mouth is. You know how many bet spreads do you take when it gets to that point? You know, minus fourteen. Have you? How That's many of those one. have you lost in victory formation? You know, <laughs> for, not for, not fourteen like that, but like there's times yeah. where it's like twenty, twenty four, sure. and you're like, and no one wants to score any. You know what I mean? Like they just not yeah. going to do it. I uh, I really want to join in on the fun, but I'll I, I gotta and, have I gotta have a clean. And take the over. Take both. Michigan can't score. I'm going to take Yeah, Michigan but Indiana spread. can. Yeah, I know. But Here's what I'm going to tell you. Here's what I'm going to tell you. This is my thought on, on what you just said. If you, <laughs> if you want to join in on the fun and you want to take Indiana minus 14, but you don't feel good about it, then take the over 48 and a half because here's what I'll tell you. If Indiana wins by over 14 – I think they're going to score so many points they're going to hit 48 and a half. All right, you sold me. You know what I mean? So well, it's like you're I'll taking it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, that's what I'll do. That's what yeah. I'll do. <laughs> but, like so. Michigan plus he's, 14. He's taking the over. Despite your record, I'm going to go with this. <laughs> yeah. I had one bad week. I had one bad week, Brett. The rest I'm I'm pretty even. So it's not yeah. about winning or losing. It's about not doing either. That's right. You're forty five yeah. percent on the year. Because of that bad week I had two weeks ago. Yep. Yep. That's what shut up. <laughs> Troy. Semantics. Next game. Numbers. <laughs> yeah. Statistics. Shut up. What's the next game? Uh good call. I already know. Troy, would you press the button? <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, God. Some of us wanted to skip this game. This is the, this is our stinky game of the week. Uh, Troy's Troy's favorite game. He's been waiting for it all year. He said, um, "Number nineteen, Clemson versus Virginia Tech. Uh, Virginia Tech is the underdog by six and a half, over under fifty three and a half." Brett, we can skip it if you want, or you can pick it. Yeah, I was thinking. No, let's not skip it. Hold on, I gotta get I gotta get all my picks right here. But what, they have, like, why, Troy, what is Troy doing on this one? <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, man. Uh, yeah. So Clemson's been on like a sneaky run, but they actually haven't really beat anybody. And I would probably take Virginia Tech, but can, you know that graphic y'all print with everybody's picks and whatnot? If for my yeah. square on this game, can you just put like, Philadelphia Eagles spread. Like, take whatever the Eagles spread is and double it. And I'm taking that. You know what we can do, Troy? Against my Cowboys put, this weekend. You can just put the stinky You can just put the stinky emoji. <laughs> well, I still, want to, I still want to pick here. No, I, I know. Want one of my, and I want that to count as a pick when it hits. When the Eagles beat that spread. We'll give them the Eagles. We'll put that, we'll put that yeah. on a miscellaneous. We'll put that on miscellaneous. Okay, okay. <laughs> So what's your pick here, Virginia Tech? I'm probably taking the Eagles. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to pick this game. Uh, I have to pick it. You said I could skip yeah. it. No, okay. no, 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 no. Fine, fine. I'll take Virginia Tech spread. Okay. We didn't just we didn't just spend two minutes talking about it not to pick it. <laughs> well, I was doing a bit. Oh well, well. Then can't wait to, for you to see this episode because I think we did a bit for like three minutes on this game before you came on. So this might just be a Clemson, Virginia Tech podcast at this point. <laughs> might as well. Go Adam ahead. Sandler's yeah. going to be there. That's Adam right. Sandler is going to be there. Is Adam Sandler a Hokie? Uh, um, well no, but they play Enter Sandman. Uh oh. So that, that's why they got him? It's, 
No, it's, it's a bit. It's he, a bit. he doesn't know yet. <laughs> it's a bit. I, I, I'm ashamed good. to say. I'm ashamed to say. It's a bit. <laughs> I, Troy. Troy said. It, yeah. Troy said they're going to play Under Sandman because that's the song they play. And I said I didn't know Adam Sandler was going to be there. And now. Okay. Here okay. we are. I like that one. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Number 11, Alabama versus number 14, LSU. LSU is the dog by plus three over under 58 and a half. Yeah. Um, I don't need to say much. I feel like if I pick against Alabama, then they're going to win by 30 points. And uh, you never know when they're going to do that. So I'll just I'll just go with Bama. Roll Tide. I, we'd probably all enjoy life much more if we just submit and became Alabama fans. <laughs> Just like the good Lord Nick Saban wants. <laughs> yeah. All right, oh, Troy. Hell. Yeah. Here we go. The Holy War. The Holy War. I like that. Right, is, is that the official title that you see on ESPN? Or is yeah, there... it is. Really? Yeah. The Holy yeah. War. Oh, man. Yeah. BYU, number nine, BYU versus Utah, plus four and a half, over under 40. Um, man, I wonder how many other funny names you like Mormon matchup. Last one, last one. If the refs like screwed up the game, right? Like if the refs like blew the game or something, you could call it Mormon mischief. Oh, see, this guy's working. All right, see, this is what I was talking about. The headlines or Nick ESPN could have a field hey, day. Nick. If, if uh, BYU didn't show up, they just put in a terrible performance. You could say it was the Mormon mission. Because <laughs> they went away. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, so we all think like BYU, they've technically won enough to be number nine, but they're not really number nine, right? You shut or, your mouth. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I, and I, I won't make another Cam Rising is old joke. <laughs> I mean, by week four, those jokes are like, pretty old. Yeah, old they're, old they're, they're pretty funny, you know. And I'll still, I'll still like a post <laughs> after week five. It was like, okay, yeah. Um, I didn't. Uh, was Dylan pick Utah? Oh yeah, go Utes. Did. Aren't they? Aren't they horrible without Cam? No, they're they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they're bad. I mean, I mean, they're yeah, they're horrible. I'm going. I gotta go yeah. BYU. I'll take yeah. the spread. That's BYU. probably smart. <laughs> yeah, I just I was like, am I hearing this? Right? Am I missing something? <laughs> yeah, they're terrible. I looked at yeah. that, I looked at the stats. It's yeah. a good call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. BYU. <laughs> All right, the game we've all been waiting for, biggest game of the week, most important game of the week. Uh, people are saying, people are saying, myself included, loser, no Big 12 title game, winner, hope still alive. Big game, big noon kickoff, massive. Troy, lead us off. All right, all right. So, yeah, that's Nick said, massive. What he didn't mention was that there's going to be a couple of us at this game. Too. There's going to be so, a couple of us at this game. I did mention it. Shut up. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> and Nick isn't going. What the? Hey, take it easy, Troy. I have a 12 week old daughter. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm back and love it. Can I tell you something? Shut your mouth. All right. So, anyway, um, Nick and my niece won't be there. So, that's, uh, you know, we'll cheer three times as hard for you. Uh, but with that being said, it's very simple. Texas Tech is winning this game. Uh, they're going to cover the four and a half. And I have them uh, covering or hitting the over in the first half over 14. I think the atmosphere is going to be absolutely electric. Uh, I think that uh, Morton's going to show up and show out. And I think they'll for sure get two touchdowns by the halftime bell. And so I think I will be able to control the tempo, but also score when we need to. Uh, so I think we cover four and a half, and I think we score 14 points in the first half. Can I tell you, I saw uh, Garrett was in town today, and he came up to me and was like, hey, man, 
uh, I was going to tell you this tomorrow, but uh, I got extra box seats and I gave them away because I knew you weren't coming up anymore. And I told him, I said, dude, yeah, I wish you would have texted me because I totally would have figured it out. Yeah, that's a shame. No, we got it's that. a big thing. I, yeah, well, yeah. I know the guy he gave it to. I might I might tell him not to, not to bring his wife. I don't know. We'll see. She doesn't really want to go, does she? I'm bummed out. I'm sad, Troy. And you just made me more sad. Uh, yeah. Brett, what do you think? How's Tex D-line? Oh, they're getting better every week. <laughs> they're getting better. <laughs> 17, 17 QB pressures against TCU, 23 against um, Iowa State. And Iowa State. Hey, that, got, can I ask you, is that number bigger? So would you say it is better? Path yep. to progression. And uh, Colorado is a team that likes to allow QB pressure. <laughs> that's their weakness, right? Is their O line. That's the deal. Yeah, yeah that's the whole shebang. Um, uh, no, his name's Shador Troy. <laughs> yeah. Has, has anybody ever on this show gone for the other team? No. You can try it. See how that works for you. <laughs> I look. I am a little tempted because Nick went against Texas State. The surf no, I didn't. Bowl, I picked the over. Pro winners. I picked the over. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, we're, we're clear then. You know. <laughs> I think Texas State's going to win. I was about to remove Brett. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, boy makes his pick. Yeah, Brett. <laughs> you don't know how close you are to, to getting booted real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just think about that before you make this pick. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I, I do like Colorado. Not like. I'm not talking spreads here. Like I like Colorado. Maybe I, I want to show a little more love to them because I feel like everybody just just craps on Colorado okay. all the time. Go go buy a t-shirt. So yeah, I was gonna I was gonna maybe pick them and then Nick's th thing, but uh, you know the boys are going to the bowl. <laughs> Y'all are going up there. You're you're driving seven hours or whatever it is up to the stadium, and. Uh, I mean, Taj Brooks is a, an absolute monster, so he's just gonna he's just gonna have his way. So I, uh, I'll go tech on this. I'll go tech. No, on this. I'm gonna go with the boys. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's one finger. It, it, one finger. Yeah. You know. You know what's funny is uh, Texas too. It, well, no, it's like a claw on the left hand yeah. or like the right. I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah. I'm not happy with how this this went, <laughs> but you made the right choice. So okay, Dylan, can you clean, can you cleanse the palate, please? Well, before I get into it, I got a little fun tidbit for this one. I the Red Raiders are 17, eight and one against the spread, 68 percent as a home dog of more than a field goal since 2005. That is best in college football. While Colorado is the least profitable team against the spread on the road, 37, 64, and 1, 36.6 percent. Both of those sound very good for us. That being said, guys, this is easy. Do you know what these are? Do you know what these are? These are comically large $100 bill because I'm putting comically large bets on this game. And let me tell you what those bets are going to be on. It's going to be Texas Tech plus four and a half, Texas Tech money line, and Texas Tech team total over 30 and a half. These are, again, very comically large. Look at that compared to my head. <laughs> We're putting all of these on Texas Tech. They're going to win this game easily. You know what, Troy? I'm cashing the chips. You tell Dylan everything Dylan picked, you give me it also. All the chips. Put them in. We're going all in. All right. We took tech money line also, correct? Yes. Absolutely we did. Absolutely. There's no way tech loses this game. All right. You know what, Troy? Let me tell you something. Old Baron Morton, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna learn from last week because he threw a couple interceptions. Guess what he's gonna do? He ain't gonna throw one. You know what he's gonna throw? A bunch of touchdown passes. You know to who? All of them. 
Guess what, Troy? If he plays, guess who might catch his first touchdown today or tomorrow, Saturday? Micah Hudson. The more self Micah, football. Micah Hudson. That's right. Micah Hudson. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. I'm telling you, it's, we, we're going we're gonna to slang that thing. Not only that, Taj Brooks going to have probably 1,000 yards. Oh, yeah, he's also about to break the Texas Tech rushing record. So, <coughs> go ahead. Pick, pick your boys. It's a Texas Tech week. Throw me, uh, throw, throw me Taj Brooks. Is that the Quidditch? Is that, is, that, is that the golden snitch? Taj, Taj will be the first one to get the golden snitch. <laughs> Taj is catching the golden snitch this weekend. <laughs> Brett, Quidditch, you, baby. You I'm just grabbing a bunch of props I have next to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> the camera falls down. It's just a table of dozens of props. <laughs> what other props do I have? Yeah. Is that a scuba suit? <laughs> yeah. Todd is going to be on fire. Yeah. yeah. We, we right. do have to start the fire, Nick. Yeah, start the fire, John. Light them up. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Anywho, Tech's going to win. Very excited. Everyone, thank you for tuning in. Brett, thanks for joining us, brother. We really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Follow us on all the socials, X, Instagram, TikTok, Fox Cutter. Um, very good, Dylan. We're gonna cut. We're gonna cut through the we're line. Carve up the defense. <laughs> yeah, we're carve up the defense. This was uh, brought to you by Factor. Oh God. <laughs> um, and make sure, guys, comment. Tell us if you like the picks or not. Let us know what you think. But we appreciate it. Tune in as always. You know the drill. Wreckum. Find out. Everything runs through. Seven tortillas. Everything runs through. Seven tortillas.